David Brush uh, was stopped by police uh, after they discovered that you know he was driving erratically. They pulled him over, and then they discovered that he had a suspended license. Well, that led them to search the vehicle, and they found forty-seven thousand dollars in cash. Now they said that the cash smelled like marijuana, and as a result, they decided to arrest him because they suspected him of dealing marijuana and getting the money in that way. <laughs> Believe it or not, he was actually convicted. <laughs> no, that's ridiculous. They man. did not find marijuana in the car. This case went to trial, and the jurors found him guilty. Now, before we make a ruling on this, I do want to read some of the evidence that the jurors were um, exposed to, because that is important. Evidence exhibi exhibited included fine particles of pot on the floor, a handwritten note allegedly describing multiple marijuana strains, and receipts from purchases of outdoor growing operation items. Okay. Now, we did a story yesterday where the cops bust into a house because they thought they saw a marijuana plant. Okay, and that it smelled like marijuana. Marijuana plants don't smell like you're smoking marijuana. It's totally made up, and it turns out, of course, it was not a marijuana plant. In this case, the money smells like marijuana. This is not carte blanche. You, you want to arrest someone? I don't know. Your dress sounds, smells like marijuana. Your ears smell like marijuana. Whatever, I'm a cop. I can make up anything I like, right? And to me, having the cash, like, if you, unless you're a banker, you're already on a yacht or something, if you got 47000 in cash, they're going to arrest you. They're just going to assume that you have it illegally, right? And it drives me crazy. Well, I mean, look, not that I've got that luxury, but it's a free country. You should be allowed to have 47000 in cash. Don't get me wrong. I think the guy probably sold drugs. Mm -hmm. It's not you don't just stumble into 47000 in cash. Even if you have it, you don't usually carry it around. And if he's got a checklist of like, you know, receipts, receipts and all that yeah. stuff. He probably did it. But by the way, do they have enough evidence beyond a reasonable doubt? I don't no, think, they don't. I don't think they do. And, you didn't and catch him with the marijuana. Another little wrinkle to this story is the jurors never smelled the money that allegedly smelled like marijuana. That was. I mean, the come on. On that alone, I'd be like, it's over. Yeah. Not guilty. Get, get out of here. I'm hoping that he appeals. I, I think of that he course. should definitely appeal. I mean, again, they did not. The jurors, the most important people in making this ruling, did not see the money. They did not smell the money. And and even if even if there are tiny little particles of marijuana in the car, okay, that doesn't necessarily prove beyond a reasonable doubt that he was selling that marijuana. It could mean that he was blazing while he was driving one day or whatever. That's one possible. Or he was doing it in the in his car. By the way, President Obama talked about doing that when he was young, right? Mm -hmm. Having nothing to do with driving, right? And then it could be it was somebody else's pot. And remember, it wasn't actually pot. It was traces of pot on the floor. Right. Maybe, you know, maybe a hundred things. Maybe it wasn't his list. This is not enough to convict someone and send them to jail for a long time over something like this. It's crazy. He faces up to four years in prison because of this conviction. Four years so we'll in see, prison. We'll see what happens. And mind you, this is in California where medicinal marijuana is legal. Um, I would say 99% of people in California smoke it for recreational purposes <laughs> anyway. No, no, no. <laughs> California has an overwhelming glaucoma uh, <laughs> issue. 98% uh, of Californians have really bad eyesight. Right. Is You're that what glaucoma is? And insomnia. <laughs> and, and back yeah. issues. Uh, Lots of back issues in California. <laughs> <laughs> and anxiety. And anxiety yeah. I, but that might be because they smoked the pot. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Not guilty. Not guilty. Not guilty.